Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is about long lasting fresh fragrances for men. Finally, a new video for you gentlemen. All of these perfumes last nine hours plus, which is fantastic because if you're looking for a new summer perfume, then this video is probably gonna be for you. Let's begin with a super crisp green apple scent. It is Solstice by Fragrance du Bois. This is one of the new releases from the brand, by the way. It launched towards the end of last year, but I didn't feel like I wanted to talk about it because it is more of that like fresh, crisp fragrance that is great for the warmer months. So here it is. So as I said, this is an apple dominant perfume with some marine aquatic nuances. And you'll find this DNA quite a lot in popular designer scents, like it's very likable and it's very much a staple for summer. But with Solstice, I find it to be really complex and refined and it's definitely the most sophisticated scent within that DNA that I have smelt yet. Other than those notes, you also have really bright and sunny citruses to brighten up the composition, as well as spices with nutmeg, cardamom, and there's some woods in the background too. So as this perfume dries down, the spices are really gonna come through, some musky notes too, and a little bit of sweetness, maybe from the vanilla or apple or the combination of both. So it's lightly sweet, but overall remains very fresh and uplifting. And this is definitely the most elegant apple to marine DNA that I've smelt, but not in a way that is too complicated to wear. I'd say this is a casual, chic, versatile fragrance, and I would definitely recommend this perfume. Say you have like an exclusive pool party to go to in the summertime, all white attire, great music, Dom Perignon is flowing, gorgeous girls, that kind of a vibe, you're gonna wanna reach out for Solstice. And finally, in terms of performance, on my skin, it lasts between nine to 10 hours with moderate projection. Next, we have a sophisticated long-lasting citrus perfume. It is Poivre Pomelo by Atelier Materi. This perfume has been a real love story for me. It is so yummy. Oh, this smells amazing. I wish you could smell through the screen. It's so good. Poivre Pomelo is a grapefruit dominant scent and it's such a realistic like grapefruit note. Imagine the oil oozing out of the pores of the grapefruit skin as you cut through it, and then you go in with your spoon and you're scooping up the flesh. This is like what this perfume is about in the opening. There's also a massive dose of spices with the star of the show being Timut pepper. I hope I'm saying this right, but it is a type of spice that has some fruity grapefruit nuances. I also smelt it in raw form and could pick up like a tea-like note. Very unique smelling spice, and there's a big dose of it in this perfume which adds a lot of freshness and complexity so overall this perfume is a spicy grapefruit scent with some smoky undertones as well in the dry down I do get like a smoky tea like effect from this perfume which I think is super fab this perfume is perfect for a super hot day it will refresh you and make you smell really nice I'd say if you like the type of DNA of Hermes fragrances so this like understated elegance, there's a good chance that you'll really enjoy Poivre Pomelo as well. And in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts 11 hours with soft projection. So you're not gonna have a beast mode projection with this perfume. It's a little quieter, but it will stay on the skin. And whilst we're on the topic of citruses, of course I had to include Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. I'm not gonna talk about it extensively because you probably already know it if you've been following me for a while. This is a summer obsession and I will never stop recommending this perfume. Bohemian Lime is the polar opposite to Poivre Pomelo by Atelier Materi in the sense that this is a really chilled, relaxed citrus scent. It is also extremely loud, so if you like beast mode fragrances and want to be noticed with your perfume, this is the one that you should be getting because the projection is massive. Whenever my husband wear this, I can smell it all throughout the house. It has a really beautiful sillage. It is so, so good. So this fragrance has notes of Australian finger lime, there's coriander, so it's citrusy and spicy. There's some sandalwood as well. Overall, this is the scent that you wanna wear if you're on a tropical holiday or just on holiday by the sea. You're wearing a clean white t-shirt, pair of shorts, maybe flip-flops. This is like very chilled and relaxed, whereas with Poivre Pomelo, it's the scent that you want to wear with like linen pants, a linen shirt, some moccasins. So you see the difference between the two. It kind of depends what you're in for. And in terms of performance, this perfume is another one that lasts 10 hours plus with, like I said, 
a very strong projection. If you're looking for an all-in-one Swiss Army Knife type of scent, I'd recommend you go for Percival by Parfum de Marly. It is a citrus aromatic perfume that smells so delicious, so sexy, and is the ultimate fresh and clean perfume for summer. It has a mass appealing character, but like in the best possible way. Now, if Percival was a guy, he would be the hot, perfectly chiseled Greek god kind of body situation. He has like the right level of charisma, humor, he's well-mannered, treats the ladies like queens, minus the faithfulness aspect. Like he's not really a faithful guy. But look, all jokes aside, this fragrance is a lady magnet type of scent. I think it's safe to say that this is a type of DNA that would be enjoyed by a lot of women. So if you want a safe perfume that is very versatile, so transition from date to night in the summer, that you can wear in all occasions, casually during the day, but also for date night, then go for Percival. And in terms of performance, on my skin, it lasts between 10 to 11 hours with a super strong projection. So this is another beast mode type of freshie. Next, we have a sweeter perfume and it's also a new release. This is Bad Boy Cobalt Eau de Parfum Electrique. I think this is the second flanker to the Bad Boy series. There was Bad Boy Le Parfum previously. And yes, this just recently launched. This perfume is for those of you who enjoy aromatic sweet perfumes along the lines of One Million Lucky by Paco Rabanne or Coach for Men, there's a good chance that you'll enjoy this scent as well. So the main notes in this perfume are plum, lavender, pink pepper, geranium, and woods. It is super masculine, and to my nose, I can smell an overdose of geranium, which has aromatic minty notes, but also a rosy touch as well. Mixed with the plum, I find it to be a very modern, fresh, masculine scent. I'd recommend wearing this fragrance in the evenings, in spring and summer, because it is a little bit sweeter, and I find that sweeter fragrances are nice to wear preferably in the evenings. And then in terms of performance, on my skin, it lasts between 10 to 11 hours with strong to moderate projection. Next up, we have a very strong, fresh out of the shower type of perfume. It is Chrome Extreme by Azzaro. It has still like a distinctive marine feel that the original Chrome has, but this one has more of like a shower gel, masculine freshness about it. So it is super different to the original, which I love and I've been recommending a lot on my channel. The Chrome Extreme is very bold, impactful, modern, fresh masculinity. And it really has that like distinctive marine breeze. You're on a boat in the Mediterranean, enjoying your life in the summertime. Like it totally has that vibe as well. The main notes within this perfume are green mandarin as well as juniper berry, which is gonna bring this like icy cooling feeling and amber that will anchor everything together. It is a super casual fragrance. You can wear it to the gym. It smells great. We'll cover up that sweat. Yeah, this is the kind of fragrance that you can just throw on out the door, a no-brainer perfume. Not the most unique DNA that is out there, but for some reason, I'm drawn to it. I don't know why. I think it's super nice, and I recommend it to you, gentlemen, especially if you like Aqua di Gio Profondo by Armani or Polo di Pru. So those kind of like fragrances, there's a good chance that you'll enjoy Chrome Extreme. And as for the performance, on my skin, it lasts over 10 hours with strong to moderate projection. Next, we have an aquatic citrus amber. It is Aqua Six Juice by Jewel and Mad. Now this perfume, although it is aquatic, it is not a marine scent like in Chrome. This is more of a very refreshing citrus cold water type of scent, if that makes any sense. The notes in this perfume are bergamot, lime, green notes, mint, musk, and amber. To me, the green zesty lime note really comes out the most in this scent on a bed of like soft, cocooning, clean musks. So it always is very refreshing. Picture this, you have just taken a dip in the most refreshing, cooling pool. You're surrounded by olive trees. There's a sound of cicada in the background. It's truly a feeling of pure bliss and it is so refreshing and just as satisfying as if you had chugged a glass of ice cold water on a super hot day. That is how refreshing this fragrance is. It's really, really good. Trust me, just 
get a sample of it. I got my sample at Jovois. I will link the links to all the fragrances down below, but also Jovois, so if you're interested in getting a sample, you can. And as for the performance, on my skin it lasts between 9 to 10 hours with moderate projection. It is truly a fab perfume to wear on a super hot day. It will help beat the heat. And the final fragrance closing off this video is Gentle Fluity Silver by Maison Francis Kyokjan. So many of you have messaged me on Instagram to tell me that you ended up getting this scent, which makes me so happy because it is really, really great and more people need to know about it. It smells like the most luxurious gin and tonic that you'll ever have. Imagine you are on a yacht in the south of France sipping on a fancy gin and tonic. This is what this perfume is about. It is very cooling, very refreshing and so likable. Lots of compliments versatile, sexy. I mean, this is like another all-in-one perfume. More sophisticated though than Percival, I would say. As for the longevity, it is so beast mode. It lasts 12 hours plus on my skin with a really strong projection. Such a fab perfume and really worth the investment. I think all of Maison Francis Jean, for the most part, the fragrances are really high quality and Gentle Fluity Silver is really up there in terms of the best fragrances from the brand. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what long lasting fresh fragrance you have in your collection that you love to wear. I would really like to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.